guys, it's TJ coming to you guys with another video. I doubt you guys will see me in this video because I look ratchet. So, <laughs> a long time, you guys don't even want to know what I'm wearing. If you guys know me personally, you guys know I'm probably wearing my bonnet, which I am, my sweats, and an Old Navy t-shirt, and that is exactly to a T with black socks on. Okay, so if you guys followed me, I think I kind of said that I wanted to change my channel to a lifestyle channel, so I'm going to incorporate some DIYs in there, which this is the first of many DIYs, I promise you guys. Um, and if you guys see, also if you guys followed me for a long time, you guys will have saw when I hauled this beautiful thing. Um, last, I think it's in my midwinter haul when I bought my Ups. So, I'll link that down below. But I was like, let me ombre this. And then I think I'm going to cut a hole. I'm going to finish cutting this hole out. I'll probably cut one down there. Probably one on the shoulder. And, like, leave the back regular. Um, and then I do want to either cut or sew patches on the sleeves. Or I might even just cut the sleeves off. But we're going to see what this turns out to. I was going to put it in here with some water and bleach, but then I can't find my gloves, so I'm just going to spray bleach it, um, because, like I said, I can't find my gloves, um, and my grandmother's going to come up here and kill me if she see me bleaching stuff without gloves. First of all, she was like, do this in the basement, and I was like, girl, but the basement is this dark, so <laughs> I was like, right, um, so I can't, so, yeah, she might come up here and kill me, first of all, for not having gloves on. And then second of all for, because she think I'm going to get bleach everywhere. But she was like, whatever, if I come up there and there's a mess, I'm beating you. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I'm just going to use this empty coconut and hibiscus from Shea Moisture, just a spray bottle. I had just a little bit in there and I um, put it in the other bottle that I had. I have my bleach. Then my bleach. And my bleach. This is about... Two and a half cups of bleach. I doubt I'm going to use it all. And I have distilled vinegar. Which is for after. Um, to stop the bleaching process. So I am ready to start. So just a disclaimer. Don't try this at home without gloves. Um, to the kids. Use your parents supervision. I've never done a DIY. Like on camera like this before. But we're going to see. Um. I want to see if I can get some, like, gems or something to put up here, but we'll find out. We, I want to see how this is going to turn out. So, basically, I'm just going to pour my bleach in this bottle right here. I'm going to do it off camera because I am clumsy. If this doesn't work, I'm going to do the whole put in water thing. Amount that I have in there, only because, if, like I said, if this doesn't work... I want to um, put it in the bucket, and if I go get more bleach, my grandma's going to cut my head off, I guess. Um, so, yeah. So, this is it. It's in the bleach. So, let's start. Let me push the camera down a little bit. Okay. So, honestly, my line <coughs> that I want is the fourth button up in the middle of the fourth button up. Actually, yeah, I want it in the middle of the fourth button up because I want to do this all I want it to be like a white-ish blue, and then right here in the middle, I want it to be like faded, kind of, so I'm going to spray it down. So right now, I'm just going to work right here, and it's also going to be, um, I'm debating if I want it on the sleeves yet, but to get it to stay wide like this, I had to put the flaps up. So we'll see. Huh, pray for me, guys. So guys, do have ventilation because I have my window open and I'm about to turn on my um, my fan and I have um, neutral air just in case it becomes too much because bleach can become heavy. I'm thinking about just taking this out of here because I feel like I'm not going to get the color payoff that I really want and I'm going to dip it in the water. So I'm probably going to turn the camera that way. So I'm taking my bleach and the rest of I will leave that in there and I'm going to take it off the hanger put 
I took it off the hanger. I'm going to pull up the sleeves and pull up this. And we're going to add cold water to this. So in true YouTuber fashion, my camera's probably most likely going to die. But I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> die. <laughs> um, just wanted to show you guys this so far. It turned into... It's just going everywhere um, when I had put in a dye. Yeah, so I'm just going to, I like kind of this color scheme that's going on, but this right here I don't like under the arms, and I believe that's like the thread, I don't know, leaking out and then stuff like this. So what I have done is I bought the big boy out. Instead of using this, I am going to use this. And I'm just going to keep spraying it because I do want it a little lighter. And this spray bottle is way easier for me to use. And we're just going to keep spraying it. kind of went all the way up here. So this is what it looks like now. Let's take this off and see what it will look like. I'm about to make an accent just in case you guys recognize. Take this one off. Well, and I live. Child. Yes, that's exactly like what I was kind of going for. Let's turn it around. And I did spray a little bit on the sleeves, but they don't look like they turned. So, yes. So this is what I'm looking for. So this, I'm going to stop right now um, and actually put it in my vinegar water, which I'll show you guys. Basically stops the chemical reaction. So I'm going to stuff my whole shirt in here and put in some water, cold. Yeah, so, okay, so, I have my bucket, and I have my shirt. My grandmother was like, why don't you just put a patch over it, but I'm a rebel, so. So, the bleach is at my desired need, so I'm going to stuff this back in here, and I'm going to start running my water in here. I'm going to do, like, warm water. Actually, I'm going to do cold water because I heard cold water is good. So, yes. Okay, so it's been soaking in the water for about an hour and a half now. So this is the shirt over at the top. Zoom in a little bit so you guys can see like the different colors. And follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys for liking, watching, subscribing, and I hope to see you guys soon. So bye.